Fearful of predators and with the rest of the whiskers out foraging, Eusarian has brought all of the new pups above ground in the hope that the babysitters will pick them up and move to a new burrow with him. The pups he's brought above ground belong to Flower's wayward daughters, Tosca and Mozart, and the babysitters are now not sure who they should be looking after. He's caused confusion and mayhem. But instead of helping, he just sits and waits whilst his tiny relatives are slowly baking to death in the heat. In the end, it's one of the teenagers, Pookie, who saves the day. Showing great maturity, he rescues the pup from certain death. Eusarian's still hoping they're moving home, but instead, they carefully carry the infants one by one back to the burrow entrance. As the day draws to a close, Flower and the foraging group return home and are horrified to discover the newborn pups above ground. While Top Cat's been away, someone's been up to no good. After laying down the law, Flower takes matters into her own hands and starts to gather the exhausted little pups, returning them to the safety of the burrow. And now she's reminded the family who the boss really is, everyone follows her lead. Everyone, that is, except for Eusarian, who's keeping a low profile. Eusarian is thoroughly miserable. He's been stuck out on his own in the first storm of the rainy season. He's made his way back to the burrow and has discovered that the bosses have gone out foraging. Once again, he's left alone with the babysitters. And for some reason, he still seems dead set on moving burrows. One by one, he brings Mozart's and Tosca's pups above ground again. It isn't long before the babysitters pick up the helpless bundles and make a perilous dash across the desert, led by Eusarian. It looks as though he might get his way after all, as long as he doesn't bump into flour. Elsewhere, basic training is rudely interrupted by urgent alarm calls. The foragers quickly dash over to see what the commotion's about. It's not another ambush, it's the babysitters carrying a cargo of tiny pups. Eusarian sees what's coming and drops his precious little possession. He keeps himself well out of the boss's firing line and deciding that discretion is the better part of valour, he slopes off again. Flower and Zaphod get stuck in straight away, stopping the babysitters and asserting their dominance. If there are going to be any den moves, then they're the ones who are going to be in charge. Once they've regained control, Flower and Zaphod lead the group away to a new den. But one tiny baby has been missed. As the whiskers settle into their new home, Mozart realizes that one of her litter hasn't arrived with the rest of the group. She bravely sets out to find her forgotten pup. It's a long trek. The old burrow is over a kilometer away and trying to find a pup in this huge area of desert is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Her desperate search reveals nothing. She heads for home. One of her precious litter has gone. A kilometre away, close to the old burrow, her pup is lying dead in the sand, exactly where Eusarian left her. <laughs> 